Relationships have evolved, and with that comes a whole new set of vocabulary. There are so many new terms that are part of our dating vocabulary that it's hard to keep up, and the list just keeps getting longer. To help you stay updated on all of these new terms, this video reviews 20 dating terms to know. From benching to zombieing you will have a good understanding of most dating terms. Soon you will be an expert in modern dating lingo. Number 1. Micro-cheating. Micro-cheating refers to subtle behaviors or actions that may indicate a breach of trust or emotional infidelity within a committed relationship. These actions often involve engaging in flirtatious conversations, secretly following or liking social media posts of others, or maintaining online connections with past romantic interests. While micro-cheating may not involve physical betrayal, it can erode trust and emotional intimacy in a relationship if left unaddressed. Number 2. Ghosting. Ghosting is when someone abruptly cuts off all communication and disappears from the life of the person they were dating without any explanation or closure. It can leave the other person feeling confused, hurt, and rejected, as they are left wondering what went wrong and why the person vanished. Ghosting has become increasingly common in the digital age, where it is easy to disconnect and avoid difficult conversations. It reflects a lack of maturity and empathy, as it denies the other person the opportunity for honest communication and resolution. Number 3. Benching. Benching is when someone keeps a potential romantic interest on the bench, meaning they don't fully commit to the relationship but keep the person around as a backup option. They may sporadically reach out, show interest, and flirt but never take things to the next level. It can be frustrating for the person being benched, as they are left in a state of uncertainty and may invest emotional energy without receiving genuine reciprocation. Number 4. Cushioning. Cushioning is the practice of keeping multiple romantic prospects or cushions on the side while in a committed relationship. It involves creating a safety net of potential partners in case the current relationship fails or ends. People who cushion often engage in flirtatious or emotionally intimate conversations with these backups, providing themselves with a sense of security. It is a form of emotional insurance that can undermine the trust and commitment in a relationship. Number 5. Zombieing. Zombieing refers to the act of a person who previously ghosted you suddenly reappearing, often after a long period of silence. It can be confusing and emotionally jarring, as the person resurfaces without any explanation or acknowledgement of their past behavior. Zombieing can create mixed feelings, such as anger, curiosity, or even hope, as the person attempts to re-establish contact. It is important to approach zombieing with caution and consider the previous ghosting as a red flag. Number 6. Haunting. Haunting is similar to ghosting, but with a twist. When someone haunts you, they cease direct communication but still maintain a presence in your life, typically through social media. They may consistently like or comment on your posts, keeping themselves on your radar without actively engaging in conversation. Haunting can be a form of emotional manipulation or an attempt to keep the door open for future interactions without committing fully. Number 7. Orbiting. Orbiting occurs when someone ceases direct communication with you but continues to observe your online presence, such as regularly viewing your social media posts or stories. It's like being on the periphery of their attention, without any meaningful engagement. Orbiting can be unsettling as it keeps the person in a state of ambiguity, wondering about the motives and intentions of the orbiter. Number 8. Breadcrumbing. Breadcrumbing involves giving someone just enough attention or communication to keep them interested but without any intention of pursuing a genuine relationship. The person doing the breadcrumbing throws occasional breadcrumbs of affection or interest to keep the other person hooked. It can be a frustrating and emotionally draining experience as the breadcrumber manipulates the other person's emotions and keeps them in a perpetual state of uncertainty. Number 9. Catfishing. Catfishing is when someone creates a fake online persona, usually on dating apps or social media, to deceive others. 
They may use someone else's photos, invent a false identity, or misrepresent their appearance, age, or background. Catfishers engage in deceptive behavior, often seeking emotional connections or financial gain from their victims. Falling victim to a catfish can be emotionally devastating and result in a loss of trust in online interactions. Number 10, DTR. DTR stands for Define the Relationship. It refers to a conversation between two people who have been dating or seeing each other casually to determine the nature and status of their relationship. The DTR conversation helps establish expectations, exclusivity, and commitment levels, allowing both parties to be on the same page and avoid misunderstandings. Number 11, Cuffing Season. Cuffing season refers to the time during fall and winter when people seek to enter into a temporary relationship or cuff themselves to someone. It is driven by the desire for companionship and intimacy during the colder months. Cuffing season typically ends in spring or summer when individuals may seek more freedom and casual connections. Number 12, Slow Fade. The slow fade is a passive and gradual process of ending a relationship or connection. Instead of abruptly cutting off communication like ghosting, the person slowly reduces their level of engagement and contact over time. They may become less responsive to messages, cancel plans frequently, or show a general lack of interest. The slow fade is often used when someone wants to avoid confrontation or explicitly ending the relationship. Number 13, Love Bombing. Love bombing is an intense and overwhelming display of affection, attention, and gifts in the early stages of a relationship. The person doing the love bombing showers their partner with constant flattery, grand gestures, and declarations of love. However, love bombing is often manipulative and used to gain control over the other person. It can lead to a distorted sense of reality and make it difficult to see the red flags in the relationship. Number 14, Fubbing. Fubbing is a term that combines phone and snubbing. It refers to the act of ignoring or showing more attention to one's phone or other devices than to the person they are with. Fubbing can be detrimental to relationships, as it sends a message of disinterest, lack of respect, and emotional disconnection. It is essential to be present and attentive in interpersonal interactions to maintain healthy connections. Number 15, FOMO. FOMO stands for fear of missing out. In the context of dating, it refers to the anxiety or unease one may experience when they perceive others as having more exciting or fulfilling romantic experiences. FOMO can lead to a constant search for the next best thing, preventing individuals from fully committing to a relationship or appreciating the present moment. Overcoming FOMO involves embracing contentment and focusing on personal fulfillment. Number 16, Thirst Trap. A thirst trap refers to a deliberately provocative photo or post shared on social media to attract attention, particularly from potential romantic or sexual partners. Thirst traps are designed to generate compliments, flirty comments, or direct messages. While thirst traps can be harmless fun, they can also perpetuate a culture of objectification and contribute to shallow interactions based solely on physical attraction. Number 17, Netflix and Chill. Netflix and Chill is a euphemism for a casual sexual encounter or a low-key date night that often leads to physical intimacy. It has become a popular phrase in modern dating culture implying a relaxed setting for watching movies or TV shows, with an underlying expectation of romantic or sexual activity. However, it is important to communicate openly and establish consent to ensure a positive and consensual experience. Number 18, Relationship Anarchy. Relationship anarchy is a philosophy that challenges traditional societal norms and hierarchies in relationships. It promotes individual autonomy and encourages people to define and create relationships on their own terms, without predefined rules or expectations. Relationship anarchists prioritize consent, communication, and mutual agreements, fostering a non-hierarchical and egalitarian approach to connections. Number 19, Sapiosexual. 
Sapiosexual is a term used to describe someone who is primarily attracted to intelligence or intellectual stimulation. Sapiosexual individuals are drawn to people who engage them in meaningful conversations, possess knowledge, and demonstrate intellectual curiosity. While physical appearance may still be a factor, the sapiosexual person values mental and emotional connection as the foundation of their attraction. Number 20. Polyamory. Polyamory is a relationship style that allows for multiple consensual and simultaneous romantic or sexual partnerships. Polyamorous individuals believe in the possibility of loving more than one person at a time and emphasize open communication, honesty, and ethical non-monogamy. Polyamory challenges the traditional notion of monogamy and recognizes the potential for multiple fulfilling connections. There you have it, 20 modern dating terms that you should add to your relationship manual. Were there any terms we missed? Please make sure to comment below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more relationship tips and advice.